Hey guys and dolls, welcome back. I am so excited to bring you guys today's video. I had this urge to buy some drugstore items. When I was, you know, making my list for my 2015 favorites, I was really appalled by how few favorites I had from the drugstore. I love drugstore makeup, so it was just sort of like a weird disconnect where somehow last year I just didn't try that much drugstore makeup and I'm like, oh my God, I gotta remedy this immediately. So I tailed it over to Ulta, checked out some new stuff, went over to Target, really, and Walgreens just really kind of did the damn thing. So I have a bucket of goodies here that I picked up from the drugstore. So get ready for a massive haul. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with the stuff I picked up at Target. The first thing I picked up is actually, it was such a good bargain and I'm like so excited about this. Um, I've been wanting a shower cap for a while and I was in the Sonia Kashuk section and they actually had one that was on clearance. So this is originally $5 and I got it for $2.48. I know, so exciting. So what I like about this is that the package is going to cut my finger. The thing that really drew me to this is that it has this nice plasticky outside, but the inner portion is actually microfiber. So it's really gonna help to make sure that even if some moisture gets on your hair, it's gonna wick away the moisture. So kind of cool. I mean, it looks a little like the Missy Elliott, like, you know, black bag outfit thing, but for $2.50, I thought it was a really good deal. Um, the other thing that I picked up when I was at Target was the Sonia Kashuk Concealer. So I was really excited about these. It seems like a really kind of cool product. Um, it has this like top spongy bit. Now they only come in two shades, at least at my Target, they only had two shades. So that's a big, huge bummer if you're even like medium deep. It's light, which matches me and I'm obviously super fair. And then I picked up the medium just to get an idea of the difference in tone. While I was there, I also picked up a couple of other concealers from NYX. Now I actually picked up two of these and I don't, I don't know where the other one went. It, it's on vacation in Mexico right now. I will find it later. So this is the Gotcha Covered. Uh, waterproof concealer. So I'm interested to check this out. What I noticed was that the, I originally just bought the ivory shade and it was really, really light on me. So I decided to get the second, the second darker shade and test them out together. Haven't done it yet, but I'm excited about it. Never mind, I just found it. It is in shade light. So I have ivory and light. I'm going to mix them together and see how that works out. Um, these were $5.99 and the Sonia Kashuk, um, which they exploded. That's the one thing about like the spongy kinds. Um, sometimes it can kind of get a little messy. Um, anyway, these were $10 and I'm going to have to clean those up later because the other thing that I picked up when I was at Target, um, I had, I actually went to Ulta first the day that I went shopping and I couldn't find these at Ulta and I found them at Target. So I was quite excited. These are the NYX Ombre Lip Duos. So it's kind of cool. You have one side that has a lip liner that's in a deeper color or a different color at least. And then you have the lipstick side. So you have liner and lipsticks. The first color I have is called Freckles and Speckles and it's a great ombre mauve nude. And then the other combination I have is called Hollywood and Wine, which is kind of cute to take on Hollywood and Vine. These were $11.99, just kind of on the higher end, but you are getting the two the two colors and the two different products. So that's it for what I got at Target. I'm going to go ahead and move on to Ulta because that's like the bulk of my haul. Um, I, oh my god, I went crazy at Ulta, you guys. Like, NYX is usually buy one, get one 50% off at Ulta, and it's definitely one of the more interesting drugstore or less expensive brands. So one thing that really caught my eye were these Avant Pop palettes. Now, some of these have been out for a while. Prices, though, I noticed that these two palettes were, with the discount and everything, they were like 11 something, and this one was 13, but I think this one's newer. So this one is called Nouveau Chic, and for me, this is like kind of your everyday, you know, warm neutrals. You've also got a green and a silver in here that cools it down. This one's a little bit cooler, but overall, these are warmer neutral colors really fun to play with. I actually use this partially in creating my look today. Obviously I'm wearing all the things. Um, this palette is really cool. This one's called Art Throb and it's got some really fun colors. Definitely the types of poppy fun colors that I like to use. I love this like peachy pink. It's a matte. There's a mix of matte and shimmer textures in both these palettes actually. I think in all three there's a mix of textures. And then this one is called Surreal My Heart. And I haven't even touched this one yet, except for just swatching th this one and that one. I just kind of like poked my fingers in them. Really fun, definitely on the cooler side 
has some really fun colors that I'm excited to play with. So I'm very excited about these palettes. Very excited indeed, my friend, especially since, you know, after, you know, tax and everything, I paid less than $40 for all three of these. So the next thing that I picked up, and this is something I am really hoping this works out for me. This is a new concealer from NYX called the Hydra Touch. This is a pink colored, like tinted concealer, highlighter, whatever you want to call it. Well, I'm hoping that this can replace the Radiant Rose highlighter for MAC that I always use that costs $26. This one was $8.99 before the discount. Super, super inexpensive and it has a really cool texture. It feels like a wet gel when it's going on. So I'm excited to play with this a little bit more. I did use this today instead of using my Rose Radiance and you know, I think it's working pretty well for me. Cool stuff. So these eyeliners, I don't think we're ready. The Vivid Brights eyeliners. These are freaking awesome. These were $6.99 before the discount. Of course, buy one, get one 50% off. So I got four shades. I was tempted to buy them all. I might have to go back and buy the rest of them because they are so freaking cool. They're really, really fun bright co colors. This one's called Vivid Escape. It's an acid green. We have Vivid Blossom, which is a pastel lavender. Vivid Violet, which is a bright blue-based violet. And this one, which is Vivid Fire, which is beyond awesome. Unusual, so exciting to find this for seven bucks, even less than that really with a discount. So exciting, OMG. So NYX had so many new lip products. It was kind of insane and a little intimidating. So I got a couple. I was looking for the lingerie ones, but I guess I don't have those at Ulta. Anyway, I found these one, this one, the Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick. So this is a little different from most of the liquid lipsticks that have come out that are like budge proof and, you know, last all day and wear like iron and stuff. This one's more like a true like cream lipstick. So it's similar to like the soft matte lip creams that they have. It's similar to um, like the Too Faced melted liquid lipstick. So it's more in that vein. It, you know, it's kind of interesting playing around with it. I felt that it was maybe a little patchy, but it could be because it's such a dark color. But um, I only tried it on really quickly once, and so we'll see. We'll play around with it a little more. This one seemed really interesting. This is called Full Throttle. It's a waterproof lipstick that comes, you know, like a traditional lipstick. So I'm interested to check this out and see, you know, what the waterproofness of it is. So far, the color is great. It's actually really similar to what I'm wearing today, which is actually not technically part of this haul, but I did acquire this the same day. Um, Colourpop sent me this. This is Trust Me of their new Matte X formula. I'm going to be having an indie brand focus video talking all about Colourpop coming up in a couple of days. So look out for that. Love this. And the colors of these two are actually quite similar. The next lipsticks that I picked up from NYX were a couple new shades of the matte lipstick. I don't think I've ever actually bought any of their matte lipsticks. And I don't know why. I'm stupid. I have problems. So the first one that I picked up is T Rose, and I feel like they used to have a different lipstick called T Rose and like a different formula. Love this beautiful mauve color, just really fantastic everyday go-to kind of shade. The next one is called Aria, and it's a beautiful purpley berry shade. Yum, yes, thank you, please, can we have some more? Third one that I got is Dark Era, and this one is more of like a deep burgundy lovely lovely color fun excited about these wanted to get more shades but i had already bought so many other things speaking of lipstick while i was there i also saw this from burt's bees they have this new line of lipsticks um i don't know what it's called but it comes in this packaging with like the honeycomb pattern on it and this shade that i got is called blush basin so definitely more of like a natural kind of traditional lipstick a great everyday kind of color on the warmer side so definitely would flatter people who like a little bit more of a warm natural pink lipstick so I'm excited to check this one out. I actually haven't even tried it yet I just ripped the sticker off to show you guys the shade in fact I hadn't even seen it because in person um, you know they had the little display but they didn't have any testers out so that's kind of cool I finally got to look at that you know what I got this at Target too this is from Wet n Wild it's called a Co Calling Your Bluff Coal Eyeliner so you guys know I like to put a nude color in my waterline a lot of the time to make my eye look nice and bright and open and awake so this is kind of cool to get this from uh, Wet n Wild I'd normally buy the NYX version, but this is bigger and cheaper, so hopefully this will work out for me. This one I was really excited. This is from Andrea, and it came with a little mini of the Duo Glue, which I'm not a really big fan of. I actually prefer, in fact, where is it? 
this duo glue. So I bought these again on a buy one get one 50% off. So this is the traditional duo lash adhesive that I'm obsessed with and I love and it's my favorite. Um, this is, it's called brush and adhesive with vitamins. So this one that comes in like a tube with like the blue lettering, this is the traditional one that's latex based. This is latex free and I think it works better and it has the brush applicator. It's just love it. Anyway, I bought this because I like the look of these lashes, but also it had this little applicator thing that was different from the other plastic lash applicator. It had this little like end thing. I just, I'm, I'm interested to check this out. It seems like it might be kind of cool. I picked up some more of the Aveeno wipes that I use to take my makeup off. That's not exciting. Um, this is exciting though. This is Tony Moly hand, hand, banana hand milk. I mean, this might be one of the cutest things I've ever bought. Um, I forget how much this costs. Let me look. Um, this was $9.99 before the discount. It was actually $7.40 after the discount. But it looks like a little banana. And it's, it's hand cream. I mean, it doesn't get any cuter than that. It actually, the texture of this feels really good. It comes out rather thick. It smells just like Runt's candy. It's so good, my friend. It is so, oh, it's just a fun, quirky little luxury item, great for keeping in your bag. I do actually think that you can pop this off and refill it if you wanted with a different hand cream, which I very may well do because that sounded like my grandmother. I, very, I may very well do. Anyway, cute, right? I just think it's so cute and darling and kitschy and I had to. Speaking of cute and kitschy, I'm really excited about this and I'm going to do a comparison video between this and something else. This is the Physician's Formula. This is the Physician's Formula Mineral Wear Cushion Foundation. There, I did it. A lot of companies have come out with these cushion style foundations. So, so, so many, but I actually have the Mac one because they sent it to me. So I thought, okay, well, I'll go ahead and compare this drugstore version with the high end version. So the packaging on this is, I mean, precious. So you have your mirror, you have a little sponge for applying it, which I have not busted into or haven't tried to use yet. And then it has a little like plastic thing that keeps it nice and airtight. And then there's a little sponge thing that's like loaded up with foundation. It's kind of weird. I'm excited to test this out. I haven't tried it out at all yet and I haven't tried the MAC one yet either. So I'm going to test them out side by side and see how those work. The high end versus the, the drugstore version. The drugstore version also has like tons of sunscreen in it. I think it's like SPF 50. That's one thing I love about Physicians Formula is that so many of their products have a really high SPF in it. And I really appreciate that because so many cosmetics just don't have any sunscreen in them. The final thing I picked up, it's not technically drugstore, but I picked it up while I was at Ulta and it's the Smashbox Instamat Lipstick Transformer. And this is something that wasn't even on my radar, but I went on Instagram and I asked you guys, what should I pick up? And you guys asked me to pick this up from Ulta and review it. So I've done that. So go ahead and click the link in the description board down below to see my review of this product. I'm so excited about that it. That is it for my massive haul. Now it's time to try to put all this stuff away. <laughs> Thank you guys for hanging out with me while I shared all of this. It's so exciting to just go. This is what I love about drugstore makeup is, you know, you can go and you get so many new things to try for the same amount of money that you would have spent for like three things or four things at Sephora. So very excited to test all this new stuff out for you guys. Look out for reviews and tutorials and everything coming up soon. And that's it. I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Remember to be vintage or tacky. Just be your own kind of beautiful. See you, bye.